Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Boy, those waves are crashing again this morning. Look at that. I'm at the north end of Area 2 Beach. It's high tide right now. Wow, some rough water out there this morning. Nice and cool out here right now. 58 degrees. 58 degrees out here. Looking at a high of, oh, 70, 71 today. There's a little lightning whelk shell down here. Piece of a lightning whelk, not quite a whole little lightning whelk shell. I am not smelling any red tide. However, I am a little concerned here with the wind coming in off the gulf. I hope it doesn't blow that red tide back on us here. All we can do though is wait and see what happens, unfortunately. Boy, a lot of broken lightning whelks on the beach. Here's Here's another broken lightning whelk down here. I'd like to find one in good shape that size. Beautiful shells, the lightning whelks. There's another broken one. that sky clear sky today this will be clear all day today There's a 
big cockle shell down here. A big empty cockle shell. That'd make a nice little souvenir for somebody. Both, both halves of the cockle. That's a big one there. Boy. Look at all the barnacles on it. There's that heart. When you put the two halves of the cockle shell together, you see that makes that big heart. That's all barnacles. Wow, that's a cool looking shell. That's not gonna fit in my pocket. <laughs> Leave that for some lucky person there to add to their collection. walk up the beach a little ways see what we come across beautiful weather though absolutely gorgeous out here Surf though. There are lots of shells on the beach. I figured that was gonna happen. I figured we're gonna get lots of shells on the beach this morning just because of all this wave action. It's another broken lightning whelk. There's a moon shell, shark eye. Nice little shark eye shell. Show that in my pocket. Here's this an Apple Murex down here. Yep, a little Apple Murex shell. A little apple murex. Thought I just saw a little worm shell down here. A lot of nice. Probably gonna find a lot of nice little shells out here this morning. There's a little wormy. One of our little wormy shells. A little worm tip. Those are always fun to collect. Here's something neat. It's got a hole in it. There's an angel wing. Piece of an angel wing. This is really fragile. It's a nice little shell for the shell tree though. An angel wing. 
I've been looking for a nice shell for the shell, shell tree, something a little different. I think this angel wing is the answer. <clears throat> I don't know if there's some red tide in the air. I don't know if that's what's uh, making me cough here. It very well could be. This wind has been pretty strong coming in off the gulf now for the past couple days. That red tide can get in the air, in the sea mist. Lots of little cockle shells out here. of shells along the shore here this morning. The tide's still a bit high though. We're at high tide now. It's whoop, right up. Look how high the water is this morning. <laughs> Almost coming up to the trees here. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna hang this angel wing shell that I found there on the beach. On this branch right here. This is for our Facebook friends, especially our one friend, Wynette there, Wynetta. I know her sister passed away. She passed away a while ago, but it was the anniversary of her passing. Not too long ago, so I'm gonna hang this shell for her. She asked me to hang a shell. So an angel wing, that's kind of an appropriate shell to hang. here this morning. Is our osprey up here in the tree? Nope, not this morning. Right up here is where we see an osprey, we'll see an osprey a lot of times. It's one of their favorite spots right up on that branch there. I think it's rougher today than it was yesterday out there. Not much room to get around here. Good morning, how you doing? Good, and you? Good. Beautiful morning though. Looking forward to getting out of the shade and getting up into the sunshine up here. Wow, no shells along the beach here. 
Absolutely nothing. We're at the north end of Area 3 now. think it is no no but I saw it. I think that is a piece of a huge huge moon shell all right I do believe I'm getting a whiff now and then of red tide Unfortunately, it is very, very possible just because of the wind coming out of the northwest for the past couple of days. Oh, here's a nice shell. Here's something we haven't seen in a while. We have not seen any of these on the beach for quite a while. This is a pen shell. This is a whole pen shell, too. Both sides of it. A pen shell. P-E-N, like a writing pen. Why do they call it a pen shell? Well, you hold it like that, use your imagination, and it kind of looks like a writing pen. Can you see that? The pen shell. I've not seen one of these here at Wiggins for a while. When they're in the water, they're buried, they bury themselves in the sand up to about where my thumb is. All that's buried in the sand. And that's razor sharp too. You wouldn't want to step on that. And there's a big scallop-like muscle inside of these things. This is a dead one. Yep, nothing in there. A pen shell. I'm sure you've seen those on the beaches. Usually they're broken because they are so thin. They're really fragile. That's a nice one. A nice whole pen shell. Very cool. got down here anything interesting mm, not really a lot of this a lot of clam shells an old olive shell down here it's an old it's a big one an old olive kind of faded out there piece of a crown conch just the side of a crown conch Another crown, another old worn out crown conch. That yeah, feels good to get out in the sun here. Give you a look around here, absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful blue sky. 
a little line of clouds out there just on the horizon. The wind sure is kicking that gulf up. Wow. Really, really windy and wavy out there. morning when I was driving through Naples Park I saw our, our friend Roy out on his morning walk all bundled up with his fur hat on <laughs> he's doing well just missing the beach tremendously Lots of pieces of warm rock on the beach. Big pieces, little pieces. Here's a, here's a little chunk to get into the sunlight here. piece of warm rock. I always find that stuff so fascinating to look at the warm rock. I found some really big pieces of this on the beach. The best shelling was down right when I hit the beach there in Area 2, towards the north end of Area 2. There's a lot of shells piled up down there. I'm not seeing too many now up here in Area 3. I'm just crossing into Area 4 now. Look at that sky though look at that clear blue sky this morning gorgeous absolutely gorgeous out here get that wind now there's a few shells up here strewn all over the place here from the waves. Wow. What all is in there? Look at them all. Holy smokes. I do see some whelks right there's a whelk. There's a pear whelk. Nice little pear whelk. Shove that in my pocket. A little lightning whelk. A little lightning whelk. It's got a little chip in it. Still a nice little shell. Baby lightning whelk. 
and lots of conchs. Lots of conch shells here. Cockle shells, conch shells, worm shells. Wow. Piles and piles. Piles and piles of shells here. Maybe an old tulip shell, possibly. Broken an old horn and broken banded tulip shell. I believe that's what that was. Come around the back here. Another a little pear whelk shell. But lots of in lots of pear whelks. Goodness. Another pen shell. There's another one of those pen shells. There's a a big pen shell down there. Here's a little baby pen shell. Well, I haven't seen these on the beach, and now all of a sudden, here's the third one we've seen this morning. A little pen shell. Again, a pen shell, because when you hold it like that, use your imagination. It looks like a writing pen. A pen shell. Well, there's some price really nice stuff in this little pile. Whoever comes out here and takes their time looking through them, I'm sure it's a nice little surprise. I'm seeing lots and lots of broken whelk shells this morning. Lots of broken whelks. That's missing its its tail there. Lightning whelk. Some great stuff though out here. Great stuff. There's a really just caught my eye here. Really pretty. patterns on that. out there and they'll have the water again. Absolutely beautiful. Roy's Beach up there in front of us. Roy's pine trees up there. <laughs> if 
Roy was here with us this morning, you know what he would say about this morning. It's absolutely glorious. A glorious morning. I have to agree with him. Boy, there's another pen shell. Wow. Wonder what's causing all the pen shells to wash up on the beach. So you can see it's high tide, so there's not as much beach as we've been seeing here during our beach walks lately. Unfortunately, with all these waves, that keeps our dolphins at bay. They stay out in a little deeper water when it's rough like this. One of our mosquito control helicopters just flying overhead there. Right in the center of the screen there, heading down the beach. Boy, all these broken whelk shells on the beach. I'd sure like to find a, a whole one. There's a big broken whelk right there. Right there, big broken moon shell right here. Another, another nice little pile of shells there. Wow. Again, lots and lots of fighting conks. Lots of broken whelks. There's two broken whelks. See them right down there? Two broken whelk shells. Boy. where we were seeing a lot of sand dollars yesterday up here in this area. Some nice size sand dollars. Boy, hear that wind? Can you hear that wind? Not many people out here today. A bit on the cool side still, especially with this breeze.
down to the south. <clears throat> that sky is just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous seen too many birds out here. I've seen a couple little gulls and sandpipers here and there. Not too many birds out on the beach this morning. Kind of rough and windy. down to the south. Beautiful view. 
beautiful view with the waves, that blue sky. That looks like a Kodak moment here. Let's snap off a quick photo. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, don't forget, tell your friends. Hit the share button. Boy, a lot of pen shells. Earlier, I was saying, we have, I haven't seen pen shells, these pen shells on the beach for quite a while. Now this morning, I've seen probably a dozen of them, at least, the pen shells. At least a dozen of them. There's three of them right there. Three pen shells lined up in a row right there. Make it four. <laughs> four pen shells. today. Got an onshore breeze today. It's coming out of the northwest. That's why we're having these waves. Keeping our fingers crossed that wind doesn't blow the red tide down here. The red tide is up to the north of us. Hopefully it doesn't blow it down to our beaches down here in North Naples. What's neat is, look at that, you can see Fort Myers Beach from there. Those condos are over on the left, that's Fort Myers Beach. That's where the sand sculpting contest, the sand sculpting competition is going to be happening this weekend. Pretty darn clear, clear skies this morning here. Crisp and clear this morning. There's a look up our beach here, Del Norwegans. How clear it is. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky. And definitely down to the south, you can see that sea spray in the air. That mist kicking up. Not as thick as it was yesterday, but definitely you can still see it down there.
lightning whelk down here. Yeah, pretty much. A nice little lightning whelk, a little baby lightning whelk shell. That's a little keeper. A lightning whelk. Another broken angel wing shell. Piece of an angel wing. Beautiful shells, the angel wings. Kind of hard to find because they're so fragile. They're usually busted up. They can get pretty big, the angel wing shells. Lots and lots of conch shells out here this morning. Lots of cockle shells. Here's a nice little cockle shell over here. Nice little cockle, great colors on it. Lots of these fighting conks out here this morning. Lots and lots of them. shells right there to go through. Just takes time. Time and patience. I'm sure you'll find something nice down there. There's a little baby pear whelk. Nice little baby pear whelk. So you just stop and look. The more you look, the more you find. Look at that. There's a little nautica shell. It's all about just taking your time, taking your time and looking. Nice little nautica. Like I say, you never know what you're going to find. You just got to do a little rooting around there. It's a little sifting. <laughs> hey, good morning. I see we got a few more viewers here. Happy Friday, everybody. TGIF. Welcome to North Naples, Florida. First timer here, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. Don't be afraid to jump into one of the conversations. I don't care what you guys talk about. It's all about making friends here. That's what this is. It's social media. Just don't talk about politics. I'm the only one that can say anything about politics.
of my favorite views here. I love when these, in the early morning, we get these big long shadows from the trees coming across the beach here. I love it. As you can tell by the photos I post. I just love these views, looking up the beach like this. Oh, that was me taking a picture. You'll see that picture later. I usually post a couple pictures from my beach walk. And then I also include a link to this video. I post this video on YouTube. A lot of times the quality is better on YouTube for the replay. But you can always watch the replay here. It gets saved on Facebook 99.9% .9 of the time unless there's some kind of technical glitch. Walk along and let you enjoy the sound of the waves here for a little bit. It. I don't see our our osprey friend here. I thought one of our ospreys would be perched on these pine trees here by now. But not yet. Absolutely gorgeous. Everybody's getting their beach fix. I know I am. Just loving, loving that blue sky out here. Crisp, clean, clear air this morning.
Hey, if you enjoy these morning beach walks, tell your friends. Hit the share button. Remember, I don't get paid to do this. I love coming out here, but every once in a while, a little contribution is nice. <laughs> People do send little contributions just to help pay the phone bill and things like that, and I really appreciate that. folks. I think it's pretty to look at from inside a house. <laughs> as long as you're inside, I don't mind the snow, but I'll take the beach. High tide here. Actually, the tide is going out. High tide was around 7:30. You can see there's not a lot of beach right here to walk on at high tide. This is the north end of Area Two, where I'm at. Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Do take the time to check out my photos and videos. If you find something you like, hit the like and share button. Make sure you like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Again, nobody pays me to come out here and do this. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, if you like what you see and enjoy what I do, always appreciated. You can find my PayPal account information. You can find a link to my PayPal account right here in the description of this post. Every little bit helps and I thank those that have sent a little something. A lot of great people out here. A lot of good friends. I know a lot of great friendships have been made right here on this Facebook page. I think that is so neat. That's what this, that's what these beach walks are all about. That's what I try to stress. I come out here, I just want to keep everyone updated on the water conditions here in North Naples. Especially in the summertime when our friends from up north are at home up north. I like to keep everybody updated on top of things here. A lot of people come down here in the wintertime and enjoy this park. But also, I just feel like I'm providing a platform for everybody to get together and chat. That's just as, just as important. I actually get a big thrill out of seeing all these people commenting and conversing. <laughs> I think it's so cool. It'll be really fun when we get our friend Roy back out here on the beach. He was a big part of my morning beach walks. Just not quite the same without Roy. Definitely, definitely miss him. But doctor's orders, he was not allowed out on the beach yet. 
We're hoping that he can be out here by December 20th, his 94th birthday. And if that happens, we're gonna have one heck of a party out here. No matter what, we're gonna have a big party for his 94th birthday. It might, if it has to happen at his house, it'll happen at his house. But everybody, all of our Facebook friends are gonna be invited to the party, so keep that date open. If you're gonna be in Naples, December 20th, Roy's 94th birthday party. Thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful Friday. Have a great weekend, a safe weekend. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. Quite welcome for the warm-up. <laughs>